So does Blue Monday really exist or is it just something in the mind? Well, it does exist and it's something in the mind as opposed to a uh, sort of biological, um, genetic sort of uh, anything like that. Generally, um, I think that the weekends, what happens on the weekends indicate how the money is going to be with this blues. Um, remember you worked hard all week and you felt like the weekend I'm going to rest. And uh, I expect that you will get enough rest. But on the Saturday and the Sunday, the activities won't get into it. It's more um, sort of strenuous than what had gone on at work. And still one is still hoping to get that rest. So, oops, money's coming. Oh, man, I didn't get to rest, you know. And um, generally some prudent, sort of prudent folks will do all the drugging and the drinking and, and the partying and everything, you know, over sex in at the weekends. Um, they were sleeping late on Sunday morning, Saturday morning, and um, you know they, they get up and they go on the parties, they go on shopping, they go on the games, uh, they party late in the night, they do the, the, the drugs, they do the alcohol, they do the carousing, uh, the you know extra sex and so on. Uh, even Sunday they keep it up too, because on Sunday it's sports and, and they're off on TV and they're excited and you, you know when you're watching these sports, you get involved in it. It is as if you're playing in the game or if you're in the stadium. It could send you, your blood pressure up so high. It could give you just the works as if you were in the actual uh, field or in the actual activity. And this is why I don't like uh, anything, whether it's advertisement or movie or play or whatever, that is strenuous, that is bordering on the, the ridiculous, and that will normally run your blood pressure up and your heart rates up and, and create stress in your mind and worry and so I just don't do it because I want to rest. Now, there's the word recreation, which is what generally we mean. But what people generally say is recreation. And it's just a matter of uh, semantics. Same way the word is spelled, but how you pronounce it. Recreation would mean getting into activities that will recharge uh, the battery and ready to go when Monday comes. But recreation is going into all them stuff that's going to destroy you. Uh, the drugs, the drinking, the smoking, the partying, the late hours, the watching these strenuous games and so on. Uh, you know, there was a there was a TV show called uh, Predator. This guy on this dirt bike and he had a rifle and this other person has a head start and then he's hunting him down. See the guy running, looking back, stressed out, felt looking gun and so forth. That is a stressful show. Um, on the other hand, maybe Love Boat was a little bit romantic, but it could have stress in it if you don't watch for the stresses and avoid them and just go along with the romance and the exciting part. Um, and so, you know, uh, folks sit down and say, oh man, I didn't get no rest and here comes Monday. Oh man, or they might work. They might work through the weekend. Uh, I'm forgetting that God says six days you should work. Even if you don't believe in the Sabbath and go to church and so forth, the body can't take constant work like that. I mean, Adam and Eve who had this strong body that was almost 18 feet tall, that was not human, he was closer to angels than to us, and um, just a little step away, just had to, you know, get the numbers of people here, his children and so forth, and grandchildren and extended family, and not eat of that fruit, and then God would declare them angels, they would become mortal they want. And God gave him a time to rest, not only to worship him, to rest from the problems that, you know, the work and all the stress that had been, you know, during the week. And generally, though, um, we have the whole weekend off. Well, really, we should be working six days. On the other hand, I mean, the Catholics would want you to rest on Sunday and work on Saturday. And people who believe in what the Bible says, no one to rest on Saturday and work on Saturday and work on Sunday. And uh, in Europe, another place where the Catholic has a lot of influence, then it's obviously going to be Saturday the day to work. So right now we have this two-day weekend that, you know, if it's Saturday or Sunday, you don't have a problem with work per se, or except it's overtime or, or if you're working on a shift uh, situation. And so, yeah, one hasn't recovered. Uh, plus, they might have been partying late Sunday, and this thing is still in the system. They have a hangover in the alcohol. They still got the cocaine and the marijuana effect and so forth, but they got to go to work lest they lose the job.
So yeah, there is that blue Monday, but it doesn't have to be if you order your life correct, realizing that at least one day is to rest and probably go to church and serve God. And if you're doing that faithfully, you won't get involved in the drugging, the drinking, the smoking, the extra sex, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but even if you're not religious and you take a day off, and the other day, you know, you do things that would sort of be recreated, go to the beach perhaps, they return to the botanical gardens, go see the animals in the zoo, visit family, um, you know, just um, do something for love, just help somebody out or do some volunteer work, etc. Yeah, that would be recuperative and that would be recreative. But folks just doing dumb stuff, it's obviously, uh, it's going to, and then what happened though is that if we keep it up, I know where I'm working here or where I'm out working. One guy he left and he's going to Florida. So this other guy you now has seven days and he's working and he likes it. And, uh, you know, I'm saying, like, I mean, there's one day that isn't as good as the rest. Take that day off. I mean, I'm not saying go to church or nothing, but for your own health, take a day off. I haven't told him that. I can't because he's thinking, man, I need this money, let me get it. But he's going to die earlier. He's going to stress out. He's going to have, you know, heart attack. Or, I mean, you know, he's stressing himself out. God knows it. God said, take a day off, man, to worship. And the government train the next day to relax because if you're going to work hard, and then what happens is that when they have all these blues on Monday, they can't work, you know, sort of a, um, conscientiously then. They're going to, you know, have any these problems. Uh, they can't extend themselves. They're always taking a break and so on. Um, so be wise and, and, and live, you know, smart. And so you don't have blue Mondays. Get your rest in. Do what you got to do. You know, wind down. Uh, Friday, wind down. So that you could be ready to go to work on Monday.